Hello everyone everywhere. This is Pastor Robert Thibodeau. Welcome to your Freedom Through Faith video minute for today, which is November 16th. Today I want to talk to you about spiritual possession. You know, you can be possessed by a spirit if you're not born again. If you're born again, you're possessed by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And yes, it is still possible for a believer to have in their body an unclean spirit. It does not affect your spirit, man. It does not affect the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. But now you're possessed with multiple spirits. And by that I mean it is possible for a believer to do wrong so often that that spirit has permission from that person's will you, you are a spirit, you live in a body, you have a mind, which is your mind, will, and emotions. And it is possible for your will to enjoy the pleasures of sin, we'll say, which allows that spirit of sin to dwell in you. And it's not until you decide and make the decision to cast that devil out that it will leave. And even then, it may take the help of someone praying for you. But when you ask someone to pray for you, you have to be sure that they believe a spirit can be cast out of you. If you're going to pray for someone else to have a spirit cast out, you need to make sure that you are clean as well. You need to make sure that you are filled with the Holy Spirit because these devils know and they will only respond to someone who knows that they are operating in faith, who knows they are relying completely on the power and the authority of Jesus' name. You know, Jesus himself in Matthew uh, chapter 12, verse, we'll, we'll just read verse 25 through uh, 28. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, then he's divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? If I, by Beelzebub, cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come unto you. Praise the Lord. And it's, it reminds me of the story uh, over in, let's see, where is it at here? It's in Acts uh, chapter 19. Well, the, the sons of Sceva. And it says, verse 13, Acts 19, verse 13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, means they weren't really following the Jews' uh, rituals and traditions and customs. They were exorcists, and they were paid exorcists. They were being paid to pray and cast out devils, and basically uh, they were rented spiritualists. We call mediums today. Uh, fortune tellers do this. You know, they're not believers at all. They're being paid to do it. And in most cases, uh, they're just, you know, operating in, under a false spirit. But it says here, they took upon themselves to call over them, which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, we adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preaches. They were paid to cast out this spirit from this person. And they said, we adjure you by the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. They were not believers, but they were having a problem with this spirit. And they said, well, nothing else worse. Let's use the name of Jesus like this guy Paul uses because he casts them all. They obey him quick. So when they said, we adjure you by the name of Jesus or by Jesus, whom Paul preaches, this spirit, speaking through the man that they are praying or trying to cast this devil out of, answered them, 
and we would say today the voice changed, the mannerisms changed, and this spirit manifested himself through this person and said, I, Jesus, I know. I mean, he's from eternal as well. He knows Jesus. He knows the spirit of the Messiah. He knows who Jesus is. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. I've heard of Paul. I, I've seen Paul operate. Paul, I know. I know Jesus, and I know Paul. Who are you? And then the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them, prevailed against them. So they fled out of that house naked and wounded. I mean, he beat them up something fierce. Seven of them. And he took them on himself. One man possessed by an evil spirit. And when they said, we adjure you in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches. And he said, I know Jesus. I know Paul. You ain't them. And he got into action. So before you pray for someone, you need to make sure you are a believer and you believe not just in Jesus and the salvation that he offers you and the forgiveness of sins, but the, that he has empowered you to cast out those. Matthew chapter 7, verse 10. Uh, this is uh, a, a very powerful scripture. Actually, it's Matthew 10, 7, and 8. I misquoted that. Jesus said, as you go preach, healing the sick, cleansing lepers, casting out devils, and raising the dead. Praise God. That's the calling. And when you start to pray and to operate in that power that Jesus has given to you, when that happens, you will be blessed in all that you do.